Hello everybody, welcome to bar class. So today's class has been designed for people who are able to use a bar or a chair or some other thing they can use to hold or for people who maybe just would rather do this in center completely without a bar. So first things first, let's warm up our feet a little bit. It's always good to really get deep into the little motions of the foot, really peel it off there. And notice I'm already in my turnout. If you'd like, you can start this in parallel as well. And just peel the foot off and then peel the foot back down. Let's go a little slower. Peel the foot off and peel it back. Let's turn it parallel. Let's try it again. Peel it off. If you have a few cracks and pops, that's perfectly fine. No big deal. While your feet are on the floor, spread your toes as well. We want to set up a really good platform with our feet, really having a solid connection to the floor. Very good. All right. So finding our first position. Now, the way we find first position is that we always want to find it initially from a straight leg position. There's a lot of scientific reasons for that in regards to how the hip joint functions, but let's just say we want to always find our first from a straight leg. If we find our first position from bent legs, what ends up happening is yes, we can access more turnout here because of the way our hip is situated. However, once you start to stretch the legs back into straight, there's a lot of horizontal or, or twisting motions in the knee that can over time cause problems. Good, now once you have that, you wanna lift up in the front, the belly button pulls in ever so slightly, the tailbone is going to tuck just a teeny bit. And when I say tuck, be very careful because that does not mean that the hip goes forward. It means we're pulling it into alignment. It's the slightest little tuck that you could do. Let's check our tendu out. So now that we have our hip alignment, just reach that heel forward. Just see where you're at. Make sure you're setting it up. Where does my tendu front go? It goes right in front of my nose. Yeah. Get your body kind of aligned to these little points so that you can repeat them and return to them every time. Other foot, heel reaches forward, toe to the front, right in front of the nose. Now notice I did shift my weight a teeny bit. You will need to do that, otherwise, eventually you will topple over. All right, let's try our tendu side. Now this is not an exercise. We're not really in class yet. We're just, just establishing points. Now making sure in your second, that you're not letting that leg rotate in and you're not letting the leg get behind you because if it gets behind you, it'll rotate in because there's only so much room we have to actually rotate our legs. Very good. Other side, where is it? Don't be afraid to bring it more forward. Don't be afraid to do that. Yeah, from the audience perspective, a well rotated leg that's a little bit more forward looks a lot better than a leg that maybe is farther back but can't hold its rotation. Let's go to the back. First thing you want to do is spiral that toe back and send it right behind your head and let it disappear behind the front leg. However, we can't forget that front foot. It's so easy to let it collapse. We got to lift those arches, send our head up to the ceiling and really find long length in our back. Now, as the leg comes in, lift and stack. Other side, testing it out. Very good. And bringing that heel through. Take a little demi plie. Now a demi plie is probably the most iconic position in ballet technique. Um, it's from where we jump and it is the place we land into. And there's also that perfect little moment in between landings and pushing back to jump again where we find our absolute most effective stability. Yeah, we want to be able to stick it and then push off with strength without wobbling or losing any of our energy on the way up. We're going to take a plie combination. It's going to be four demi plies, tendu in second. Now, 
There's two ways, actually. We can do tendu, place the weight down, or you can do my favorite way, which is to open the heels to a parallel, like a small parallel second, then rocking on the heels and opening to a normal second. Then we'll do four demi plies, then we'll reverse it, walking it back, really activates the rotators, and back. Then we will take our right leg or whichever leg you would like to start with, tendu front, place it down. We'll do four demi plies, articulate that foot, slide it back down. Other side, tendu fourth, four plies, bring it back. Yeah, same thing, fifth. So in fifth position, we're gonna go tendu second, slide that heel all the way across. Really scoop it in. It's kind of like a straw, sucking the energy up to the ceiling. Yeah, we don't want to have any space in between our knee. We don't want to see this. Or you're like hanging out, waiting for the bus. Five, six, seven, and eight. Plie one, two, push three, four, and a one, two, and push three. Get all the way down there. Test the depth of that plie. Push two straight. Last time, one, two, three, four. Switch two and switch four. Here we go. Demi two. Push straight. Rotate. Lock your knees. Plie two. Push straight. Rotate. Lock your knees. One, two. Push up. Last one. One, two and stretch. Just hold here. Make sure we're not slouching or drooping or send our hips forward. Really take a moment to establish your posture. Walk it in. One, two, rotate three. Gently place it down. A tendu right in front of your nose. Place it down. Four demi plies and one, two, stretch three, four, a one, two, and three, even those hips. One, two, three, equal weight on both feet. One, two, three, squeeze the inner thighs together, push, and articulate that foot back, left side, push that heel forward, and articulate that left leg. Here we go, demi, plie, and stretch. Two, a one, two, and up, energy behind the ears going upward. One, two, three, four, last one. Spread those toes, six, seven, and eight. Pushing off the foot and bring it back. Now tendu second, slide it in fifth. Here we go, demi plie one, rotate, rotate. Press the heels in, again one and two. Feel those deep rotators wrapping the muscles around the bone. One, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, and eight. Tendu to your second, not too far behind you. Show that rotation. Other side. Five, six, toe ball heel closes in. Demi plie. One, two, three, and four, a five, six, seven, eight. Rotate, then plie. Three, four, last one. Rotate. And push those inner thighs together. Tendu second. Show the rotation. Bring it back. And we're just going to finish with a plie releve. While we're here, getting the pelvis underneath, lifting up in the front. The ears are lifting and growing. Balls of the feet pushing into the floor. The toes are spreading, rotating from that hip, inner thighs coming forward. Take one arm, find your beautiful first position. Grow taller as you find that first position on the other arm. Imagine you have two strings connected to your ears that are just lifting you up on a pulley, up to the ceiling. Don't let those shoulders roll forward. Pull them back, lift that sternum and chest through that vertical column right through the center of your body. And plie, show me your second position, arms. Allongé, 
and down. Always finish in a really nice position when you do combinations. It's very good. It's like putting a period on a sentence. Start with a beautiful position, end with a beautiful position, and have a lot of reverence for what you're doing. All right, next thing, we're gonna go to our tendu combination. So we're gonna keep it very simple. We're gonna do tendu front, close in first. Tendu second, close in first. Tendu back, close in first. Then we're gonna do plie forced arch, really dig into that ball of that foot. Don't send the weight to the pinky toes, stretch lower down. Then we'll do the left side. All we're doing is really working on the rotation of getting that heel forward and really placing our legs, yeah? Here we go. Setting that first position up, spreading the toes, five, six. I start with my right leg, here we go. Heel front, one, two, three, four. One and a two and three and four. Toe spiral back, grow taller and bring it back. And a one and two and a three. Control it down. Other side, heel leads, toe leads it back. And to your a la seconde, and bring it back into the back. Spiral it back, grow taller. Heel leads front of five, six. Here we go, one and a two, two and a two, three and a two. Plie up and two and a one. Two, 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 three, two, and plie, and uh, up. Now control it down. Good. Now, let's take a step away from the bar. So let's take a little roll down just to kind of release some tension in our spine. When we stand upright for a very long time, we can start to get a little fatigued. So I'm gonna to turn to the side. In fact, I'll come in front of the bar. So you're gonna find your parallel position and just roll yourself down. Just take a second to loosen up. Now in a, in a class that you would be doing in person, you would have some more time in between combinations while the instructor is telling you uh, the next combination. So whenever you have those little breaks, I would suggest you always be working on something. Let's switch to dégagé. So we're going to do dégagé, which means to disengage, right? We have to go through the beautiful tendu and extend a little bit farther. Once we get into the dégagé, we're going to do pique. Now it's not pique, like we're beating the floor. It's like the floor is made of lava and it goes pique. Ready? Here we go. And brush, pique. Close it in to the right. Brush, pique. Close it into the back. Brush, little pique. Close it back. And we'll just do a little plie, grounding our weight. Left side, here we go. Brush, pique, hot lava. Bring it down to the second. Pique, bring it into the back. One, pique, bring it down, plie. Ready, double time, and a pique, two, and a pique, two, and a pique, two, and a plie, and stretch, left side, pique, two, and brush, pique, two, and a three, and a plie, stretch. All right, let's take a little side bend. When we're working frontally like this, when we're really talking about uh, the basics of technique, we tend to be moving front and back. We're not doing a lot of twisting and we're not doing a lot of side bending. So it's always good. Now here, as you can see, I'm really leaning into my side bend. This is not how you would typically do it in a ballet context, but for a little extra side stretch, it really is good to just feel that whole side moving. You can find your own little way of doing it. You can bend your knee or you can twist in a certain direction. It's very good to individualize your stretching and your work so that you really tailor what you're doing to your needs. All right. So round de jambe means round the leg. We're just making round, beautiful half circles going front or on dehors 
or we can do it en dedans. So we're going to do four even rond de jambes. Yeah, we're going to do four en dehors, right and left, and then we're going to do four en dedans, right and left. We'll do this in a three. One, two, three, two, two, three, ready and uh, here we go. One, two, three, four and a oh, one, two, three, four and a oh, one. Really rotate, keep that heel forward, ready, oh, through a oh, one, two, two, three, four. Send your weight, find that posture and a oh, one, two, three, Four through first, one, two, really go all the way to the tendu, back through first, two, three, four, and a through, two, three, back to first, and plie, two, three, four, take a little breath, we're going to focus our mind on the dent, here we go, spiral that toe, around and a four, toe reaches a one, two, Three, use all the time you can through first a one, two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, close. Let's releve this time. A little extended, softly control. Use those calves, ready, reverse. Here you go, one, two, rotate, rotate. Pull the toes back, one, two, three, four, toes back, one, two, three, Four and a one, two, three, close first, elevate, two, three, four, lowering down ever so slightly, and we'll take a nice official finish for that one. All right, everybody, before we actually lift our leg back into arabesque, we're going to try to loosen up these legs. I have a great leg swing exercise that I love to do. All right, so we are going to turn side for this, but this is very easy. It's not meant to be a technical thing. This is really for you to get your leg moving big and strong. Don't be shy. Ready? And just brush it. Two, three, four. You don't even have to uh, point the foot. Yeah, I'm not concerned about your perfect technique. What I'm concerned about is your nervous system learning a safe range of motion and giving you the freedom to move into a deeper range of motion. Yeah, these are the biggest muscles in your body and you got to have big motions to get them ready for doing batmas and arabesques and all kinds of stuff. All right. The next thing is our turned out, turned in, turned out, turned in. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. Once again, it's not about perfect technique. It's about moving that leg in and out. One, two, three. Don't turn this bottom leg out too much. You don't want to have any pressure on the knee joint. Just keep swinging. All right, shake it out. So I always make sure to do a series of percussive back batmans without regards to the fine details. Just get it moving. Here we go. Seven and eight. Brush one, tondu. Brush, tondu. Brush, really open that hip up. Boom, da, one, and six, and seven, and eight, and. Now, if you see in the video, you might see my foot come up over my head. That's a great position. You wanna make sure that the arabesque is behind you not out to the side, because then the muscular balance of how that all works just creates complications that makes things more difficult. When you get that leg behind you, it frees up your sides from being crunched. Here we go, other side. Seven, eight, one, and two, and really get it up there. Three, push it, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. This is a great way also, just to warm up. Sometimes you come in the studio, swing your legs around for five minutes, you're ready to go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is called passe développé, uh, to arabesque. Passe développé arabesque, thank you. All right. So we are gonna start in fifth position for this. 
The way we find fifth position is the same way that we find first position, except we have to then bring the leg in front. And different teachers have different ways of doing this, but I always suggest that the heel, right, the heel comes right to that notch just below the big part of your big toe, just in that little notch right there. All right, so we start from first. We're gonna keep that rotation, flex that foot, and then all the way from the top of the thigh, place it right down. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap. So you gotta pull those toes back as if you're gonna go into a sur le coup de pied, and you actually could go to a sur le coup de pied. The toe draws up the leg, lift the knee, and send that leg back. Squeeze it, grow taller as it comes down. Tendu close. Plie. I like to adjust here because it does travel back. Now, wrapping, peeling that foot through the sur le coup de pied if you like, if you want a little extra oomph. Then that knee goes up through attitude, grow taller. Lift, 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 lift. Watch for the foot sickling. Hold it, hold it, grow. Tendu, and if you want to, you can turn and look, but you don't want to lose your posture. Feel that toe ball heel close. We're gonna do that one more time, a little faster this time. Reach to the end of it and let it come down. Build some suspense. Never see this as just dull exercises going, point, flex, tendu, close, blah, blah. See it as an opportunity to perform. Fifth position. Five and a six and a seven and a A. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So you're gonna round that back. Plie your legs, let your tailbone tuck under a little bit so you really can get into that lower back. Just to get ourselves really moving with a little bit of cardiovascular effort, we're going to go ahead and do a quick series of plie releves with a little bit of a jump. All right? Five, six, seven, here we go. Plie releve, plie releve. Two more times. Ready? Jump. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Let's try this without the bar. Ready? One, two, three. All right, here we are. So this is bar, right? But there's one thing we haven't really addressed today is arms. All right? So before we finish this, we're going to go ahead and do an adagio series with the arms just to really give some attention to the upper body. Yes? When we're doing a bar like this, we're focusing mostly on the waist down. So we're going to do one, two, follow it, three, four, five, arms to second, allongé, seven, and eight. Tendu fondu with arms to fifth, one, two, open three, and four. One, two, open three, and reach. And we're going to take a beautiful port de bras stretch forward. Make sure that the arms are shaping through all of your classical positions with a sense of flow and beautiful energy. Ready? Here we go. Other side. One, Three and four, five. Find your second. Really shape those elbows. Extend through the fingers. Down. Tendu fondu. Sit in the chair. Two. Tendu close. Release. And one. Two. Pull the toes back. Release. And folding forward. Two. Rolling up, keeping the neck long, shaping the arms. Five, six, seven, 
and eight. Just to finish up, tendu, transfer, ba boom. My ladies, you can curtsy. Or me, I will give you a little bow. Ready? <laughs> and try again, other side. One, two, three, ladies curtsy. And I shall bow. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Of course, this is not a substitute for an in-person full ballet class um, from the very beginning all the way to Grand Allegro, but this is a series of exercises that can get your deep, deep, deep technique working for you so that when you do translate this back into your in-person classes, you're gonna really see a difference in the quality and in the depth of your movement. So I thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.